got it running here. You can see the coming out. Took this screwdriver set up to the counter, right? Yes. And she took a knife and cut this one screwdriver out for so. There's usually no reason to heat a nut to red hot condition. Have they never worked on bulldozers? <laughs> Welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. We are working on another dozer today. No, it's not that big green 850, unfortunately. Um, you guys have been following my channel for a little while. You guys probably remember this dozer out here. It come in a few months ago. Had some transmission controller issues. It was messing up. Uh, quick story was the air conditioner was actually leaking, running down, shorting out that transmission controller. So, But uh, we got that fixed. And we got some more issues with it. So uh, after you run it for a while, like I say it's been a month or so, a couple months, I don't know. Um, they're noticing when he goes and uh, starting to pull a load that the uh, tractor's moving slower. I guess the engine RPM's staying up, but it's low on like track power. It slows down to like a crawl. And when they go to turn left with the load on it, um, the right side is slow about turning. And it actually like stalls out and then kicks on and goes again. So not quite sure what's going on there. And another thing they said they had going on with it. Um, after they start it, it'll run for a little bit. Then it runs out of fuel. Which that sounds like a uh, fuel line leak. Of course we've got a lock on the cap here where I can't check the uh, fuel cap to see if it's venting or not. There's another issue. So if these caps don't vent on these things, they will, uh, so when the tractor's running, it's sucking fuel out of take, sucking, sucking. If it can't suck in fresh air, when you shut these things off, all that vacuum in there actually suck the fuel back out of the filters and back into the tank. So that's another issue if these things start and die for that. So we may have to get that in there and get that lock off there. But, uh, anyway, we'll fire it up here and, uh, See what's going on with it. And she just died. That's a definitely a fuel issue there. We're gonna have to look into that. That's funny, I see it smoking out the exhaust here. Kind of weird. It's smoking out the exhauster even when it died, so I'm gonna probably pull this transmission controller off. This is the one we replaced last time. It's running water in the cab, shorting things out. I'm gonna pull it off and see if we got any codes in here. Alright, so we're gonna go over to codes. We have no codes, so that is a plus see some mice tracks on here it's been climbing up here these are the ruinations of those things the mice come up here they build a nest and then all that crap gets in there and starts crowding those but um well i'm gonna pull up in the shop and test a few things and see what it's doing here drive around a little bit the bad thing is we may have to run this and get this thing good and warm before it acts up so situation concerns me some there might be a key on here we can unlock that cap but I know he said that it was running full RPM when it slowed down but I don't know we'll, uh, I'll mess around with it here some and see what we find so. I've been running this thing a little bit shoving some dirt and it's starting to do it already it may be hard for you guys to see but I'm holding it over steering and it is not steering but it's pulling the motor down go to counter rotate that's definitely not right like that track's not spinning sometimes so it's not
got good charge pressure, but... Definitely, we found the key. It was on the keychain in there. Definitely something going on. I'm gonna leave that unlocked. In this side over here, I don't know what it is. It kind of seems like it's hydraulics. So I'm gonna get the book out, do some testing. We got a charge pressure gauge in there. It did stay up. I've not run this thing no more than 15 or 20 minutes, but. Uh, Basically, when you turn, it's putting a load on the engine. It doesn't matter if you're down to the 1 speed or up to the 3.0 speed. Um, I know there's like a shift solenoid in that drive motor. Once it gets over 1.5, it shifts up, changes the swash plate or something in the pump. So, um, Well, I think I need to look at the fuel system first and just to make sure. We need to get that, that issue fixed first and make sure we're good there because... It's definitely lacking on power, but I do think it's something hydraulics, but we need to get the fuel system fixed first just in case it has something to do with it. Um, I don't know. It's really weird. So. So I'm looking around at fuel lines and stuff. This little lift pump here, you guys can see it's covered in dirt. It's uh, been leaking. I think I'm going to clean it off with some brake cleaner. Dry it all off and see. It may have a leak in it somewhere at the line. I was looking at the return lines on the injectors. They're all nice and dry. The steel line comes down over there. You guys probably can't see it. Um, the feed line's right here. So I'm going to clean this off and uh, see if we can see. There's definitely a leak in there somewhere that wouldn't be built up like that. That could be allowing it to uh, lose its prime right there. So I don't see anything on the injection pump that's uh, throwing a red flag for leaks or anything. We'll go back try to chase that stuff back to the tank too. Kind of hard with the winch and stuff on there, but uh, we got a little leak on the turbo drain line. But return lines are all nice and dry on the injectors. Nothing on the pump here. It's leaking. It's all nice and dry. Oh, I'll clean some stuff up here and see. I got it running here, you can see fuel coming out. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can hear or see, but that pump is, uh, it's actually dripping out. There's a little, little weep hole right here. When that diaphragm goes bad and seals, it'll start leaking out this little weep hole, but that pump is leaking. It's probably why it's trying to lose its prime. Uh, when I tried to start it up here again, it would probably been shut off for about 15 minutes, and it was um, actually starving for fuel. It hit and missed, but it kept going. But uh, we're gonna put this on here first. I keep easing stock um, part number on that. Right there it is. DZ117588. This is a newer style pump for the serpentine belt engines, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there just to eliminate this problem. I'm gonna fix her starting problem anyway, so I can tell this one's original. It's all got the original paint and stuff on it, so we'll fix this and I'll probably take it out there and make sure. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna fix our tracking issue, but uh, we'll start with the simple things first. These have an O-ring style connection so there's no gasket in there. All right, we got that on there. I'm gonna open up this bleeder screw on this filter. There's a little primer pump up here. Yeah, we got good good fuel coming out there now. Well, if you guys see me in the video there, I actually hit that primer pump some up there once I put that line on to get fuel through that lift pump. There's also a little primer pump on here too so I'm gonna spray all this fuel off here some brake cleaner you guys might have noticed too I blowed back in the tank and made sure that was all right it seemed like we had good fuel flow so I'm gonna dry all this off with air hose I don't think this is gonna fix our tracking problem but uh, it's worth a shot so So I've been running this thing here. We'll put that fuel pump on it. Kevin's gonna run it here, but I want to show you guys. Don't move nothing yet, Kevin. I took it out there and run it for probably 15 or 20 minutes longer than what I run it the first time, and it never messed up on the steering. So um, I don't know if that fuel pump fixed it or what, but the owner is complaining about them. You guys can see that metal right there. But uh, something's been rubbed inside the rails. So you see I got the blade pushed down the tractor. This is the best way to check your rollers. Checking all of them. This very back one back here, it's plumb out of it. It's probably, may have been causing some of the issue too because it's binding up on that uh, little rock guard. But I'm going to have Kevin move it back and forth and look at things. See the tracks are starting to get worn out and that back roller is not working. It's completely gone. So. Could be binding up here a little bit too. Go ahead and move it around. I just want to look at stuff and make sure nothing else is going on. It's hard to see things when you're running it, so.
All right, I think it's kind of weird. That fuel pump may fix it. The customer's just gonna take it and run it, but that roller definitely needs fixed. I'm gonna call him. This thing's about due for undercarriage. You guys can see this thing stretched out. He knows it too. I think he's wanting to try to get by to this winter, but call him and see if he wants to replace that roller. I think we have one of those in stock. But the uh, only thing I can figure, that um, fuel pump, so these things have a speed sensor on that hydraulic pump and it's trying to maintain engine speed all the time. So it's trying to say this machine runs at 2200 RPM. It's trying to keep that thing at 2000 RPM. Well, the way it does that it just keeps cutting the flow back on the hydraulics on the transmission. So if we're running low on power, low on fuel, we can't get enough fuel. It's gonna, just gonna keep cutting the hydraulics back, hydraulics back to try to keep that engine RPM up. Hopefully that makes sense because it's not like a direct drive machine. Uh, if it's direct drive and we was running low on fuel, it would be pulling down the engine power like that, so the RPM wise. But uh, thinking that might be what it is, I've not run into that before. But uh, that roller could be causing some issue too. Back here where it's binding up, it's been rubbing hard on these pin bosses here. So I mean, it's been cutting metal. You guys can see there's metal and stuff in there. But it's lunch time here. We're going to go to lunch. And I think Kevin is wanting to go to Harbor Freight. Are you wanting to go to Harbor Freight and fix all your junk tools there, Kevin? Don't laugh. Are you going to take your, your membership card? <laughs> so you guys watched our previous video. You know what tools are broken. We've not had time to go there yet. No. We got a broken screwdriver too, don't we? Well, don't say that. You got to take the whole set back. Wow. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Whoa. We'll find whoa, out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That Hey, That's a collector. there's one. I got two in the tractor up there, but you're not broken. You need to put that in a vise and break it more. So I need to give you guys a spinning limit today. Um, oh, well, this is all free stuff. It's, it's spending limit? Or well, money. we might see other things that we need. Yeah, Do we need to break this more properly? You need to replace this stuff that's on warranty, right? Right. So the screwdriver, the end's chipped off, but we're going to make it more legit, right? That's right. Oh, it just bent. Oh, the power. The power. Look at the power it bent. You need to shear it. <laughs> yeah, you need to shear it. What do we need? Um, Soft steel's bending. Oh, yeah, just do that. It'll break. Oh, dang, Harbor Freight. That's the way I used to do the Craftsman ones, because they wouldn't take it back if it had a little chip out of the end. Okay. One other tool is this impact died on us on one undercarriage job. It still works, but it's uh, it's just not quite right. So. It's catching air. We're going to... Uh, uh, I bet the socket won't Yeah, back we're going to take this stuff back to Harbor Freight. Um, Kevin's got a broken bit here, too. Yeah. So we're going to try the myth that everybody says you have to bring the whole set back. We're just going to bring one in, right? Well, we're going to put it in our, this in our pocket. And just yeah, the bring rest in of the it. One and watch so, it. a lot of people's been saying that you, if you break one thing, you got to bring the whole set back. Now, the Bloomington store where we got this from said that wasn't true. They'll just replace one thing. But so if I think Car we're if going. Karen is working there, we'll be like, we're oh, going, wait, never mind. We got the whole set. We're well, I think we're going to a different store. We're going to Columbus, Indiana today. So, okay. I've never been there. So, we'll see what they say. We're going to find out. We're going to, we're going to debunk these myths. All right, we made it to Harbor Freight. You guys see right back there. We got some exchanges, a couple tools they didn't have. We got a new light. That was one thing that got exchanged. We got we spent what did I spent six or seven hundred dollars for other. Yeah. Well, we got some free ratchet straps because we're inside track platinum member. That's right. Um. So they didn't have the grease gun or the little half inch impact. No, because they got some sale going on. So what I wanted to point out, I'm trying to find the screwdriver. Oh, it's right here. Okay. And so a lot of people have been complaining. You might notice we have a whole set there. That's a screw up. But we had that one broken screwdriver. And we just brought that one screwdriver in. So we literally took this screwdriver set up to the counter, right? Yes. And she took a knife and cut this one screwdriver out for us. So you guys buy a whole set. People has been on the internet blasting people that you have to bring the whole set back if you break one tool. Um, that is not true. We also had, where those little, um, we had those little torque drive bits. Yeah. Now we brought the whole set in, but she was more than happy just to replace that one piece. So 
there is one video floating around on the uh, internet about you have to bring the whole complete set if you tear up one socket yeah. and what sucks if you you know people are saying well if you lost one screwdriver you can't bring the whole set back well you can you don't need to we tried it both ways yeah it doesn't matter she was happy like say she cut that screwdriver out of whole set and i'll hang this back up and sell it at a reduced price now they gave this to us by we're accident we're gonna do the right thing and go take kevin's it kevin's gonna do the right thing and take it back in the store because we're not supposed to have that but here take a cart with you too buddy oh, hey my pleasure hopefully that makes a little a little sense to you guys so people are super nice in there but uh yeah if you break one tool out of a set you do not need to bring the whole set in a lot of people I've seen the internet and videos and I had a lot of comments about that. It is not true. We went to a totally different store than where we bought this stuff because the original store said they would just replace the one socket or the one tool that broke. So we went to a totally different store to see if that's true and in fact it is. So, But uh, anyway, hopefully that clears some things up for people. So don't believe everything you see on the internet. A lot of people are just trying to get views on videos and stuff like that. So we're going to head back to the shop. Look, Kevin showing his legs. Are you hitchhiking, Bubby? Yep. Yeah, was she thankful to get her screwdrivers back? She was. But the bad thing is they're not that great screwdrivers. Why would you say something <laughs> like that for? All right, made it back to the shop. Got all of her tools back here. If you guys don't know, we are giving this toolbox away, loaded full of tools here in a few months so if you guys are not seeing go down below there's a link in the description to the video you can watch how you can win those tools so maybe not the snap on impacts that's not what originally come with it but uh, we'll make sure and have all those tools replaced and all that stuff if you guys win that you'll have nice new tools oh are you ready to change your rear roller out kevin's digging out the uh Track. We're going to loosen the track up first. Get some slack in it. The bad thing in this rear one, we got to unbolt this little rock guard thing. It's not real fun to get to the roller. Hopefully, we don't break any bolts on Friday. <laughs> now we'll get a 4 before. I'll start this up and we'll take the blade and push that track back the rest of the way. Got some blocks up under it. Kevin's gonna let tracks off a little bit. There you go. Should be good. We got both sides blocked up. So. I hope we can leave the one side on. Is that the tracks you're wiggling? Yeah. It's like a magical piano. Freight ratchet, bud. Oh, it's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna have to torch those before they break. Mm. Mm. Torchy time? Yeah, I didn't want to break them here. Whoa. One Nelly. You want to go back here and I'll try the three bolts while I'm here? One Nelly. Did you need power lube on it? Oh yeah, she's power Double lube. deep creep. Which one you want, back? Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, I broke my finger. It's all that snap on power. Oh yeah? Yeah, we better heat these other ones.
had one. You ready? Get off there. <laughs> Don't ruin my Friday. <laughs> Touch it, bub. Touch it. Well, yeah. You want to get an extension or something for that one, or how do you want to do that? Old uh, I thought maybe it was like on its way out, but it ain't. You really sucked her back up in there. You know how to get bolts out of your mouth, don't you? You just turn them on high. <laughs> what about these? How you feeling about Three fourths? These? Thirteens? Oh, they're nine sixteenths. Oh. oh, Bob. A little optimism. I'll leave these up in there until we get the insides broke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine, right? Yeah. The plan is we're going to leave this guard on here. We're going to heat the heads up of these bolts. What that does, it kind of breaks the rust and stuff free. And hopefully she'll come out. This is the hardest roller in the whole machine to replace. These rollers get the most wear and tear, especially in a logging dozer, because the dozers are kind of riding a wheelie. And this chain will actually kind of, you kind of see this one, how it's doing. Wads up. And that rear roller gets a lot of use. The rear one like this one here has got a seal. This one here is bad, Kevin. I didn't see that one earlier. I'm going to have to change that one out too, it looks like. Yeah. Should have put your little jackie dude over there. No, bub. I got it under my brand new one. I was throwing my way. <laughs> it's coming for you, bub. Alright, show on that roller that's a little forked out of shape. What do you mean, bub? She's like new. Like new. Plus or minus a few inches. Hey. That's intolerance, right? What about some of that anti -seas? Oh. I'll just save us for next time. Okay. Hang on. Let's get her gone. Here. I'll go get it for you. Oh no, you're about to get taken out by a roller. Here you go. <laughs> you got that roller backwards. Never. Unless there's oil holes on both sides. It needs some more for your side. You got another dippy? My can ain't here. <laughs> I don't see a. Uh, oh, yep. Ah. Here you go. Um. Yeah. See, that's the thing. <laughs> Got a lot of anaxes on your phalanges. Okay. Roller. Oh. oh. So, I can't do this any good, what you're saying. So, 
Time to be a man. <laughs> okay. Unless we can get them on this pad. You're supposed to put those on when the uh, rails hang on there with that tool. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I done did it. And I see it's all over. I hmm. got one bolt in. You going through a bolt? I don't want to know which ones they are because they're hot. Okay. Are we ready for this? Yeah. I don't know if I'm mad enough. Yeah. start maybe yeah yeah okay oh that one's hot okay all right we got that all changed but uh we found that other bad one there and it's the end of the day here on friday so I guess we'll be back Monday morning. All this fun will still be here. We'll see you guys then. All right, we're back at it again. We're gonna, Mr. Kevin's cleaning it out. We're gonna loosen that track up, get a little room to change out that one roller side. We're gonna put in a good used roller. I already took the bolts out underneath on Friday. Today's Monday, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat the, the head of these bolts up too. That way we don't have any issues here first thing Monday morning. <laughs> Where'd the head go? Oh, yeah. Snap on impacts that too much power, that's the problem. I'm gonna heat that oven up again. You got the better impact your bub? Easy, don't break anything. How's that going for you? Watch this stack. Snap off 5,000, don't get it. We got problems. Ah. Oxy Lance. <laughs> okay, Bob. I'll let you try it. Oh. You, can, you can break it in front of thousands of people. Oh, okay. I already broke mine this morning. Okay. All right. Okay. Do maybe we could call in sick. Walk this rest of the week. This was a 15 minute job, it just turned into an hour and a half job. This is why people always want to get a price up front to change rollers and undercarriage out, and I give them a big window. This is why, right here, folks, because <laughs> a 
30 minute job on this can turn into a half day or a day job real quick. So I heated the bolt up, I cut the side out of the roller and heated the bolt up that way too. We got everything hot, we're going to let her cool down and try it again. How about some power lube? Oh, watch it, it's Must be hot yet. Huh. Really hot. Oh, she feels mighty soft, bub. Yeah, let's go this way. Hmm. You know what it is, what town this is? Snap City and I'm the mayor. <laughs> I was trying to look at the threads to see if they're even spinning. Huh? Uh, I don't see anything moving. It's twisting, but it don't feel right. Mm -mm. Don't feel good. You guys can see I've got the threads cut out of the side over there. We're stuck to the ratchet. So are you gonna break it? Oh, you just want me to break it off for you? I guess, I don't know. This is not good. It's gonna be a great day. <coughs> hmm. mm -hmm. I got some of it. <laughs> we got bolts hanging down here at least. Yeah. There and there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now we can get under there from the inside and heat that up with the torch better. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I got a couple uh, 916 nuts to thread right up on those studs. I got them threaded on about halfway, enough room to put some weld in there, hopefully. Some here. All right, back under the tractor. You can see those nuts I welded on there. Spray a little bit of stuff on there. Boy, it's smoky. Hmm. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna take the torch and uh, heat the outside of this. Hopefully, that will expand that metal a little bit and break that rust free too. So I don't know about my welds. I didn't get that one out good. Might be doing better from down here. You didn't do good? Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? We got some holes. Tucker wouldn't approve. Oh. We'll uh we'll try that. Maybe next time I'll weld them from down here. On fire, bub. Am I? Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. All right, we got them on there again. Let's, this time, we welded five eighths nuts on it. But uh, the problem is, we've got it like an inch and three eighths of metal, and these bolts are threaded the whole way. I don't know if it's gonna work. We let it all cool back down. Oh, hang on a second. Any? Because the socket's fine. Go ahead. 
Yeah, it's going. Wanna go in? Yeah, sure. Yep. You got it. There we go. See how far that bolt was started up in there? Yeah. Quite a bit. I'm blinding you now. Now you did it. You broke her flush almost, Bubby. What'd you do that for? Well, I didn't want it to be easy. <laughs> Way to go, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just welded another bolt on there. Turn that light off and you see it's all nice and hot. But, I think we're going to wait, aren't we, Kevin? Yeah. Leave up come up with this brilliant plan that we're going to buy a tool from the snap-on guy and it's going to take it off. Jack. He's supposed to show up here in about an hour. We'll see if it works. Until then, we'll stand around. We'll just stand around and hold hands with Mason. Yeah. This is what we're fighting. All those threads are stuck in that piece of metal up there. So we've got, that's almost an inch and a half, Kevin, of threads that we got going on up in there that we're trying to break loose. So we'll see if the uh, special tool does the trick here. Snap on guy took bub. snap on guy took advantage of me again. <laughs> we got this here tool. You know I was supposed to be watching videos on how to use it at lunchtime, but you know what I was watching at lunchtime? What? Mm. Videos of fire trucks. Why would that be? I don't know. <laughs> we might have another fire truck. I'm not sure yet. What's this? Caution. Using the mini ductor with the generator inverter. Consult operator's manual. Hmm. We're not doing that. Nah, we don't have to worry about that. We'll plug it right to the side of the building. Watch the lights pull down. So, will this fit around our little bolty? That looks like us. Snap-on guy guarantees this to work. Or and your said, money back. I said if it don't, everybody on YouTube's gonna know about it. That's right, bub. You just poke that in there and light her up. La -de -de. Brand new tool. Is it getting hot? Um, yeah, it's smoking. Smoking? I don't see nothing. It ain't cherry red, bud. The guy told me 15 seconds. I don't think he knows we work on bulldozers. 15 seconds for what, like a quarter 20 bolt? I said I have a 9 16 bolt, an inch and a quarter long. 15 seconds. Touch it, let's see what it is. Is it getting cherry red? No. It's not even discolored yet. It is smoking, that's a plus. It's probably getting the frame rail cherry red. <laughs> Should have watched a YouTube video. No. No, that smoke's saying it's. Is it not red. red? No. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Nope, but she's warming up now. She is. Oh, I'm starting to see a little something here. So everybody's gonna ask. I paid a thousand dollars for this tool. A thousand all. bucks. Yeah. Golly. I sure hope it's worth it. Did they tell you once you hit that third step, it's consensual? It's nine hundred and something oh. plus tax. <laughs> now yeah. she's getting red. Is she? Yep. She is, ain't she? When does it just light on fire and self-destruct? Is that, will we need a 15, 16 socket or we're gonna let it cool down? Oh, I see it's red. Oh, yeah. What about on top where the bolt goes through? I don't know. It's a lot longer than 15 seconds. <laughs> Says who? All right, I'd say it's gotta be good red. No. It's no? A, it's blowing a little bit. You can't see on the top where the bolt comes out, can you? Uh-uh. But America could. I felt like it just shut off. It probably did. Is that this size? 
It's wrong size. Well, I should let it cool down, shouldn't I? I think that would be a good decision. I don't think you got hot enough. Okay, bud. Let's hit her. <laughs> How's that? Ha! Huh. Huh. Huh, Mason? These days just get longer and longer. <laughs> I need it. A... Oh, I... Okay, Bob. You can get it. Grab that thing and stick it on there, Mason. Yeah, heat her up. Hey, the good news is, is if you can't get it, Tucker will be here soon to weld it. That's right. Pull the trigger. <laughs> Did she vibrate a little bit? Yeah, she's going. Okay. Where did that mirror go? I threw it out, don't you? Did you break this Harbor Freight mirror? I, it fell into the pit of death. Huh. Not red yet. It's barely staying red. This is already defective. Is it still buzzing? Yeah. Besides the fan? It's going. It almost looks like it moved a little bit, Kevin. Really? Where'd that power loopy go? Spray the top side. Oh, I sprayed the mirror. <laughs> this is gangster Clinton. He's got his hat on backwards. You like it? Yeah. Back in the day when he ran the streets. That's right. Streets of LA. Yeah. Put some street names out there, but Yeah, I don't know, but <laughs> Compton City, Compton. Yeah. I mean, no he snake. was running around with Easy E yeah, before snake. he got killed. <laughs> Easy E didn't get killed. <laughs> Only the bottom. He died, bub. He ain't holding it up, man. Yeah, he, he had AIDS. He did. But he got AIDS because he got ejected. He got what? It's off. Oh, we'll take it uh, off. You'll have to watch that on Only YouTube. Only the bottom half that nut was warm. Hmm. Huh. Well, we'll let her cool down a little bit and then try it again for the what, eighth time? That's right. So when you don't know what you're doing, you go ahead and you get your instructions back out. Right? Yeah, that when it don't work. And it tells you what? To uh, hmm. push the activation switch to activate the mini ductor Venom did, HP. Did you activate it, Mason? Bring the preformed coil around the frozen nut initially for only two seconds. Back it away and try to remove the nut. Did two you seconds. try that, Mason? Did you try it? Did you try that, no. Mason? Two seconds. There's no way. Two seconds. There's usually no reason to heat a nut to red hot condition. Have they never worked on bulldozers? <laughs> This ain't, this ain't, <laughs> does this say what they're working on? They must be from like California where it don't rust and... It says it's the mini one too. Two seconds. <laughs> if it's still frozen, apply it for another two seconds, then try the wrench again. Hmm. I'm gonna have to have a talk with the snap-on guy. <laughs> two seconds. Yeah. You might go back and just show them what's up, Mason. Just go a little bit in reverse and maybe go back the other way if it starts moving. Mm -mm. Snap City. What a neat hit. <laughs> Another nut on that. Call our friend Tucker. Take three. Ah! 
That's hot. We put a washer on there. Oh, magnet. A washer and then a nut, so. That's hot magma. Magma. It's even better now. Is it red hot on top? No. It sure looks like it should come loose though, don't it? Yeah. Where's the smoke show at? Mason, be prepared for the smoke and fire. Okay, hold it back. Yep. Get it, Mason, get it! Oh, gosh. Oh, she broke off flush now. Way to go, Mason. Way to go. You know, <laughs> this guy's getting new undercarriage soon. We could just put the three bolts in it for now. And when he brings it back in, we could fix it for... No charge. No. All right, we got that put on there. It's only got three bolts in it. The outside one's broken. Being the roller's in the center, it's probably going to be okay for a little bit. This guy's going to take this thing and run it and uh, try it out a little bit. So he's going to take it, run it, see if that fuel situation fixed that other issues. issues. And uh, I told him if all is good, if he wants to bring it back, he can. And uh, if we do an undercarriage on it, it needs bottom rollers. Those track frames are going to have to come off, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Flip those things. Way. Flip those things upside down where we can work on them. We could fix that bolt, but we're just wasting a guy's time and money for right now. Uh, being we're going to replace the rest of them, it's smarter probably to uh, just let it go for now. I don't think it's going to fall off, so we're going to get the tracks tightened back up and uh, see how she does. So, like always, we don't read the instructions. It's apparently, you're supposed to have a gap around the uh, thing. You guys were probably screaming at us and typing comments away, but so we were in the too tight, which means no. You just touch one side of it? No. Like it just barely touches? I don't know. You know what? We'll just have to stay tuned next time when we get her out. Maybe it's on this dozer next time. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Alright. Well, you know what's going to heat that bolt up in the air. The thing is, we had big mass of metal. In two seconds? Put the tool up. In two seconds? Gotta leave it for next time. Gotta leave them in suspense. Up a little bit, tuck her back it up some. We're gonna run these a little bit tighter than normal just because they're getting wore out. That's good, Kevin. Go ahead and back up. Bearing's about ready to go out. It's got some play in it. I'm going to let the guy take it. Go ahead and park it. Make sure you shut the doors. Let's park it over there. 
thing is need of some major undercarriage quickly so I want to tell a customer we got it all uh, running for now but he's gonna have to bring that dude back in definitely get some undercarriage put under so you guys want to make sure and see that make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that maybe we'll uh, get that induction tool back out and figure out how it works not too impressed with it yet but who knows the right place that may be okay so but uh yeah make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on stuff like that because that thing will be coming back in here like i said we'll probably take the track frames pull them back off of it flip them upside down and i can tell that's going to be a fun mess so sometimes they are but uh make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that and uh another thing that helps us out a bunch go down below Hit that like button, that thumbs up button, click that thing. It helps us out tremendously. So let's just keep doing what we're doing. So let's uh, appreciate each and every one of you watching. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.